Hello. For a handful of you who are still struggling with the last summative essay assignment that was given, I'm going to walk you through some steps that hopefully will help you. So remember, you're in the classwork section, and if you go down to summative assessments to that category, the most recent post is the Unit 6 long essay question. When you open it, your version, it will look something like this where you're being asked to write an essay. And remember, anytime you're given an essay uh, and thinking about the AP World History exam that will be coming up, you want to make sure these bullet points are essentially your rubric. So when your essay is done, you're going to revisit that bullet point list and make sure that your essay has all of these components in order for it to gain the maximum score that you want. Now, it's asking you to have a relevant thesis and support the thesis with appropriate historical evidence that it addresses all parts of the question, that it makes direct relevant comparisons, and that it analyzes relevant reasons for the similarities and differences. So then you're asked to pick two of these three revolutions and figure out which ones you choose to compare. I'm gonna remind you that we had a writing prompt about this, where I asked you to think about these revolutions and list the causes. And then you had a blank version or you had to, you were going to create a list like this. So I'm just going to show you because it's, it's here in the video that if you scroll down, here are some of the causes. Here are some of the causes for the American Revolution. Here are some of the causes listed for the French Revolution. And here are some of the causes for the Haitian Revolution. Now in this video, you can pause any time so you can pull from these causes uh, to help you. Getting back to the essay itself, when you begin your essay, remember your opening paragraph is going to have some sort of sentence that's going to make a general sweeping statement about the latter half of the um, 18th century and the early part of the 19th century being an age of revolutions. And then you make some mention of the two revolutions that you choose, one of two of those three, and then you're going to say they had similarities and they had differences. But then your thesis is going to say the similarities were more profound and pronounced than the differences, or the differences were more pronounced and profound than the similarities. Your choice, but then it's up to you to use the historical evidence uh, to decide uh, and reinforce your argument. Remember, in your conclusion, so essentially you're going to write your opening paragraph, your second paragraph is going to focus on the lesser of the two. If you think the differences aren't as important as similarities, start with differences. Your third body paragraph would be the, um, the one that you're really making the argument for. And then at the end, your concluding paragraph is really going to focus on analyzing the relevant reasons for those similarities and differences. So when you go back to your list here, be thinking about here are the various causes of these revolutions. What's the reason behind those causes? What's the reason behind those causes being the same? And what's the reason behind those causes being different? In some cases, it might be political ideology within the region. In some cases, it might be the ethnic makeup of the people within that region and what, uh, what their cultural um, identity markers are. Uh, in some cases, it might be geography. There's all sorts of reasons for the similarities and differences, but again, you have to basically mention that in your essay. Hopefully this will help. Take care.